Hi, it's Mark here from Dragon Image, and uh, we're here at IBC 2014 in Amsterdam, and I'm here at the DJI booth with Michael and Michael. How you guys doing? Excellent. Thanks for having us on, Mark. Uh, that's, 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 um, that's what we're here to do. We're here to hear about your products. Very exciting stuff. DJI's come a long way in a very short period of time. Um, so many cool products that are really changing the game, including this one here, especially this one here. Um, Michael, if you could explain some of the some of the cool features of this uh, of this new gimbal system, that'd be great. Absolutely. So, uh, what uh, Michael is doing here is demonstrating the single operator mode, which is uh, when he pans, it will pan with him. So it will follow his motions and smoothly translate them so that the image stays steady and smooth. But sometimes a, a director wants a little bit more fine control over their image. So a Victor, uh, director can sit in Video Village and um, then if you put it back into um, normal mode. This way, yeah. Um, so the, uh, a director can switch it into uh, dual operator mode. So no matter what Michael does with the the run, you see the camera continues pointing the same way until a second operator takes control. Takes control. Yeah. So you'll see that when Michael, if he grabs both sides and then walk around, just you can just walk, literally walk around the the run. You can like 360 around it. Yeah. Look. So the Any image problem there is you might end up in shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's a good shot of his belly. So, um, but then the other cool design functions that we uh, built into this is we've really thought about if you do a high angle follow, if you raise it up really high, then it gets pretty taxing. Well, that, right? that's got to be a bit tired on the arms, right? Yeah, I, I'm not that fit yet. Maybe you you look like you're, you'd be in good shape. But and then if he wants to do a high angle follow, what he can do is just flip it. And the motors know that it's in this mode, so they'll change their configurations so that they'll continue staying balanced that way. Wow. And the, the other mode that we've built into this that people really love is when you're doing a low angle follow, you're running the risk of bumping into your leg or maybe caught, getting caught between objects. So we've also designed a suitcase mode that makes low angle follows really easy and effortless. So you still get those really smooth images. Like I said, still controlling the image remotely. The other cool functions that we've designed in here are the um, P-taps and USB ports underneath the camera. So okay. you can power any additional accessories. So like transmitters or video transmitters? Video transmitters, follow focus, yep. all of those different tools can be easily mounted and continue powering, being powered by well, it. It looks like a really neat package. I can't see any cables or anything hanging out. Everything seems to be well integrated. Yeah, exactly. We designed this to be robust in any sort of production environment. So you don't really want exposed cables or, you know, with those soft pack batteries, if you cross the red and black wires, then they combust. So we've designed a smart battery that continues to give you information about the amount of power that's still left inside and also, when you charge it, it won't overcharge or discharge itself whenever you plug it in. So it's really easy. We've thought about how people actually use it on set. The other thing that's really cool about it is uh, the setup is really easy. So um, there's a few things that we've built in. One is you have the measurement markers on all three axes. So if you know that you're going to continually use a camera and lens combination, just write down the, uh, the measurements and then boom, you're ready to set it up really quickly. All right, Michael and Michael, thank you for your time. Thank you for All right, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks. Thanks.